In this module, we'll go over a couple of the buttons that we use fairly often, the Redial and the History button. The Redial button shows you calls you have previously made, and all you need to do to dial that number is to simply press it, and the call goes out. You may drop it, if you wish. Do it again. We can actually hear that one ringing because it's nearby. Let's hang up with the speaker button this time. The Redial button lists approximately 20 or so of the last calls you've made. If you need to scroll through the, the calls you've dialed out, all you have to do is hit the left-right button. If there were more entries in there, it would scroll through to the next screen. The next feature we'll show you is the call history. By pressing the menu and log, you can see the various types of entries you have in here. It's very similar to your cell phone or your smartphone. When it's on missed, it shows you calls you've missed while you're away. You can see we're scrolling through two different pages. For calls coming inbound, it shows you what calls you've picked up and actually spoken to the people. Calls you've made going outbound. Or if you want to delete them, you can press delete and erase. And if you want to do, delete all of them, you can delete all of them. And then our call log will be empty the next time we go into it. Look. The last feature we'll show you today is the directory feature. It allows you to look up somebody's extension number on the system. So you notice this phone has six soft buttons labeled A, B, C, Park 1, Page, and Forward. There's a second screen of soft buttons here also that show you when someone could be on the line. So I picked up the Bill phone, and now his underline came on. If a call was coming into Bill, you'd also see a triangle next to his name. When he picks up, the triangle goes away. Let's go into the directory. So we do not use external or group. External would be for if we had programmed uh, in some names that we might want to use. But on this phone, we mostly use the index, which is our extensions. So all we have to do is, from the keypad, start phonetically spelling in someone's name. For example, if I press B-I-L-L, -L, it'll call up Bill. B-I-L. And right away, Bill is there. And we can call Bill. And all we have to do is press the call button, and Bill will be called Drop. Let's say that there are multiple people that match the criteria. So what we do is go back to the directory, press Index, and then start dialing B. Now right off the bat, when I entered the B, I could have also entered an A, B, or C. It doesn't matter. So this tells me any name beginning with A, B, or C will be in the display. See? So A, B, or C. Now if we wanted to narrow that down, what we really needed to do was to wait till we saw the person in the display. So let's go back to exit. Let's go back to our directory, index. Now let's see what happens. B, that's going to be a few people. I. L. So now you see there's only one bill and we can call him. So you notice what I just did was even though I was on the B and I had the multiple names, I scrolled and I saw other names, but then I went back to the keypad and put in the next letter of his name, which was I. And then after I put in the L, it actually narrowed down, and now there's only one person to call. See? We can call Bill. And that's the directory function.